I need a bitch that rock Louis V like me My talent times two like I'm Siamese Put money in my pocket till it rip my jeans I'm cold ice cream, I told my team Ain't nobody fucking with us, that's all Hey guys, how's it going? It's Odar here And today I'm bringing you guys a new video uh, Today I've got you guys a video of how to load games From your computer onto your Playstation uh, No, this does not involve FTPing, external hard drives, or anything like that so um, to start off you're gonna make a folder on your desktop it, it can be an ISO or just a normal folder but um, yeah uh, if you're looking for a folder or a program to make ISOs because I know only ISOs work with uh, NTFS drives and stuff like that um, you're gonna want to use this right here gen ps3 ISO it's on the Cobra ODE website so it's just cobra-ode.com open it up it'll tell you to select your game directory which is the folder that you ripped or downloaded and uh, then you're going it's going to tell you to select an output and then another file that you can just click cancel on and it'll start creating it anyway so yeah today I'm going to be showing you guys how to load games from the network uh, we are going to be using ps3 net server or SRV by Dianc obviously so um, what you're going to want to do, uh, most tutorials tell you to change all your fucking IPv4 and stuff like that. You don't need to do that. Um, you do need to be wired for this to work, but I'm sure if any of you guys are RTMing or stuff like that, you're already wired. So what you're going to want to do to start off is on your PlayStation, I'm using uh, my games by, uh, well, it's Webman, but yeah. Um, I'm using this to load my games. I'll show you how to set it up in multi-man first. Um, I'm in Cobra mode on multi-man. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if it's on the normal multi-man. Actually, here, I'll switch over to normal multi-man. I'll sh see if it's in there as well. Because I did not check, actually. So, um, I'll show you guys how to do it on the normal multi-man and if it's not if the setting that I need is not on there then I'll use I'll show you guys how to do it on the other multi-man or the MMCM I mean so we're just gonna switch it into normal multi-man yeah it is okay it's in both multi-mans so um, I'm just gonna uh, switch back to MMCM because I'm on Cobra. So uh, this tutorial works for both versions of Multiman, uh, MMCM, uh, Multiman, and Multiman Dex. They all work. So what you're going to do is go to this setting right here, uh, Network Servers. I know a few tutorials can be a little bit hard to follow because most of them tell you on the XMB settings to look for network servers. I was searching for it forever and could not find it. So what you're going to want to do is click on that. Now, uh, this is whenever I was first testing it out, uh, they had me switch my IPv4 on my computer. You don't need to do that. As long as you're wired, this will work perfectly. So um, what you're going to want to do, uh, you're going to want to find out your computer's IP address. To do that, you're going to open up. I'm not going to do it because it will show a whole bunch of stuff about my internet connection uh, that I don't want to show. But um, you can uh, just open up. Uh, you could either, oh wait, no, that wouldn't work. You can open up uh, command prompt and type in IP, IP config. Look at the wireless, or not the wireless adapter, the Ethernet port that is the one that you are connected to the internet on, and then you're just going to select that one. And you don't really need to know your PS3's IP, but what you're going to want to do is go in here. You won't have this one right here, this second one that I have. You won't have that. Uh, you only have this right here. It'll just say NetHost 0 Enable. But uh, since I already have one, you're just going to click on NetHost 0 Enable. Now it's going to tell you to enter in your uh, IP. Uh, my uh, PC's IP is 192.168.1.81. So I'm going to enter that in there. Then it's going to tell you to enter the port. Leave it as 38008. You're going to leave it as that. And then it's going to tell you to enter a friendly name. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to name it games because I'm not going to load anything else other than games. Alright, so now it's all set up. So now on your PC, what you're going to want to do is uh, open up this folder, like I said, or uh, leave a link to this in, or I'll leave a link to the post on our website 
uh, creationbrotherhood.com. I'll leave a link in there to the post, and you can just uh, go there. All the downloads will be there, all the stuff that you're going to need. Uh, so yeah, what you're going to want to do is download uh, this from the website, and you're going to open up the GUI. Now it's going to tell you what to share, what do you want to share. Uh, you're going to select your games folder. Now once you select it, it will, uh, once you select your folder, it'll create two folders inside of there. It'll create games and PS3 ISO. In PS3 ISO, you're going to put your ISO files. In games, you're just going to put your folders. So I have a few just laying around. So I'll just put that in there. And like, I'll delete that. I don't know what else I have. I have this. Uh, alone in the dark so we'll put that there basically whatever you want whatever you want on your game or whatever games you want to use I don't have any other ones but anyway you get the point uh, you put the folders into games make sure it's not a folder inside of a folder just open up the folder make sure you see ps3 underscore game and ps3 or er, underscore disk sfb make sure those two files are in there so like it's not a folder inside of a folder anyway or you can just put your ISO and ps3 ISOs but so what you what you're going to want to do now um once you start it for the first time like I said it'll create these two folders um or you could just create them yourself and just put your games inside of there but you're going to select the folder then you're going to click on start it's going to open up a command prompt and it's going to say waiting for client so now on your PS3 what you're going to want to do is you're just going to let me find a way to show this both at the same time all right so now I'll just put that down there. So now I'm just going to click on network servers again. I'm going to click on this or on our thing that we set up before. We're just going to click start, start, and start. And then on your command prompt, you will see connection from and then your PS3's IP. Mine's 192.168.1.96. So on your now on this, as you can see, I have two of these now. If I scroll down, Oh wait, no, scroll up I mean. I'll also see Sniper Elite V2, uh, which is the PS or the ISO that I had, and then I put one more game in there, I forget. It was Alone in the Dark. And now you see I have two Alone in the Darks as well. The, and you see the web icon, that means that it's shared over your, your network. So um, I'm just going to load... Uh, Hold on, let me find it. I'm just going to load Sniper Elite V2, I guess. I'll just load that. And then after this, I'm also going to show you guys how to load it from... Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to load your games from Webman using this. So first, you're, I'm just going to finish up how to do it on Multiman. So you just click on the game. It should mount it normally. Now mine's going to show up as a disc because I'm on Cobra. And uh, here you go. This is your game hosted off of your computer and you now have access to it on your PlayStation so I'm just gonna load it up show you guys that there's no problems playing it which really I'm very surprised so far there's no issues with this whatsoever uh, it works perfectly fine um, no lag in the loading it's actually better than the games I have on my internal hard drive actually it loads faster cuz uh, hold on let me turn down my TV sorry so like um, on my internal, sometimes it'll not load textures, it'll lag a little bit. Uh, that's, I don't see this so far in this. I don't know if it's just Sniper Elite V2 because this is the only game I've tried. I'm probably going to make some, uh, I'll probably make some ISOs of some Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that. And I'll uh, report back probably in the comments and let you guys know how that works out. Playing like multiplayer matches and stuff like that. So... Sniper Elite V2, we're just going to put press start. It's loading my save data. Alright. Uh, no, I don't want to sign in. No, I don't want to sign in. Alright, single player. And I'm just going to continue my single player. Now, like I said, it just loads exactly as it would if you were playing it from a disc or like an external hard drive. It's really it's incredible, actually. So just wait for it to load. I'm just going to go into the, I'll just load the game and just show you guys that there's no problems using this. Alright, it's loaded, continue. 
All right. So as you can see, I'm in the game now. There's no messed up textures because uh, sometimes I would get mex messed up textures on uh, internal. So I don't know if this is going to work because last time this froze my PlayStation. I don't know if it's the game. It could. Okay. So I can't do a stealth kill. I'm pretty sure it's a problem in the in the rip that I have. I don't know why, but every time I try to do a stealth kill, it freezes my PlayStation. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, it works perfectly fine. Um, just disregard the freeze. That wasn't anything to do with the server. It's just, it's done it twice to me now. It's just because of, well, actually, who knows? It could be because of the server. I'll try it again on uh, internal, or ex internal or external in a, uh, after this video, and I'll let you guys know. But, yeah, I'm now I'm going to show you guys how to do this on Webman, how to make your game show up on Webman. Uh, quite fairly simple process. So you're just gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for my PS3 to boot back up. Okay, I'm just gonna select my account. All right. So now you're gonna go to my games. Uh, this can also be done from. Uh, up on or on the like if you're doing webman like through cc api like loading the plugin on boot this can also be used from the internet so what you're going to want to do is go into my games or I'll and I'll show you guys the web version in a second just going to go into multi man setup now you're going to enable this right here scan for lan games and videos it's going to say ps3 net serve number 1 ip uh, this is going to be your computer's IP once again, and you're just going to leave the port. Uh, once you do that, you're going to click save. Um, I'm not going to because mine's already set. But um, now, once your PlayStation reboots, if you're using, well, e either version, it will say, just make sure you have your server running, and it will say connection from, and then your PS3's IP, like it would if you were loading it from uh, Multiman. So I'm going to go ahead and eject, and eject uh, Sniper Elite V2. Now we're going to go into PS3, and you'll see that I now have two of the games that you saw me put in there earlier. I have Net Zero slash Games, and then Alone in the Dark, which is another one that I paste in there. I'll have Sniper Elite V2 down here. Sorry, I have a lot of games. Sniper Elite V2 is right there. And if we go down a little bit more, Transformers Rise of the Spark, Rise of the Dark Spark or whatever right there. And um, I'm just going to show you guys this just to show you that it was just Sniper Elite because I don't know why it freezes on that point. Is the disc going to show up? I'm not sure why nothing's loading. There we go. Alright, so it's now loaded it. Sorry it took so long, I don't know what it was loading. But yeah, we're just going to start up the game. I'll just show you guys that this is working fine for... I, I mean, I haven't really tried a variety of games so far, but I mean, like I said, for Sniper Elite, it was working fine up until that bug with the silent kill. I don't know what that's all about, but... Just going to wait for the game to load. Alright, it's frozen again. I need to stop downloading my games from this place because they're terrible. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, guys. It was a uh, mess up in the rip. I've never played that game before, so just as right, I probably need to set, like, internal and BD mirror on, or, well, I don't know what you would set for that on Multiman, but anyway, probably needed to use different settings, but, yeah. Uh, I just tested it with a different game off of recording just to make sure that it wasn't actually the streaming that was messing it up. Uh, I'm going to test Alone in the Dark, the other game that I put on there. It, I just tested it off and it works perfectly fine. So we're just going to load it up. Just wait for it to load. Now, as I said, I'll report back in the comments and tell you guys, like, uh, 
how good of like frame rates I get with this or like not frame rates but loading speeds and yeah as you can see alone in the dark works fine it was just that rip of uh, transformers so I'll wait for this to load up real fast I'll just show you guys oh never mind I've never played this game before I didn't know I had uh yeah I'm definitely not gonna make you guys sit through this but I hope you guys enjoyed the video I was gonna show you guys uh, the thing from the uh, web well I still can actually I just can't uh, you're gonna click on there go to your ps3's IP in your uh, I'll put a I'll put a video up soon oh apparently I can't connect though oh no mind apparently I can uh, I'll make a video soon on how to uh, make like how to have webman like this API right here on like non Cobra firmwares. So I'll show you guys that in a later video. Uh, as you can see, I've tuned alone in the dark. So it doesn't say where the directory is from the web app. So I'll just show you guys a few more. Sniper Elite, which I don't have on my internal or external, so it's right there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, except for Transformers, which Again, I probably need to set some sort of special, uh, some sort of special settings in Multiman. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll bring that video on how to install Webman on non Cobra firmwares. Uh, you can't get the My Games on non Cobra. That is Cobra only strictly. Uh, if you want to RTE and use a Cobra firmware at the same time, I really recommend uh, check out my previous video that I uploaded on the Rebug slash Cobra. Uh, the Rex edition, so you can go to Dex, and none of the uh, you have to uninstall Webman before going to Dex, or none of your uh, games will load. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you like the video, please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.